Right, uh, next let's have a look at some vector past paper questions for paper 4, uh, IGCSE, that's 0580 0607 Cambridge. Uh, here's the first one. Uh, we're given a some sort of triangle with some vectors marked on. Uh, we're told that M is the midpoint. Um, and then we, we're asked to find A, B in terms of A and B. So look at the arrow. That arrow is going from A to B. So I'm starting at the point A, finishing at the point B. I can go any way that I want. I don't know any of the vectors that take me on this route, but I know that I can do B to get to here, and then minus A to get to here because I'm traveling against the arrow. So that's just going to be my answer. So it's going to be B minus A. Okay, that's the first one. Um, second one says X divides AB in the ratio 1 to 4. Find AX. So I need to start at A and finish at X. Um, and I know that X is in the ratio 1 to 4 from A to B. Okay, so if you want to mark this out, this is probably the best way to do this. We know that um, X divides AB in the ratio 1 to 4. So basically that means the ratio from A to X is 1. And the distance and the and the ratio from x to b is four. So that's kind of what the that's the ratio. So if you if you've got this, then basically you can think that the distance from a to x is one out of that total distance, which is five. So it's basically one out of five, not one out of four, but one out of the total distance, which is five of a b. Well, we know that a b was b minus a, therefore a x is one fifth of b minus a. Okay, uh, third one, uh, we'll let me find XM. So I'm going to start at X and then finish at M here. Um, I can go two different ways on this. I can either go this from X to B, then from B to M, or I can go from X to A, then uh, all the way to C, and then backwards. I'll go the, the slightly shorter route. I'm going to go from X to B and then to M like that. Well. I already know that A to B, if you work out from before, was B minus A. So I know that to get from A to B is B minus A. And I've got 4 out of 5, so 4 fifths of that distance there, of that vector. So I've got 4 fifths of B minus A. That takes me from X to B. And then I'm traveling halfway along vector A to the point M, because it's the midpoint. So it's a half of A. Then I just need to simplify that. I've got 4 fifths B, and then I've got 4 fifths times minus A plus a half A. I can use my calculator. Uh, 4 fifths, or minus 4 fifths plus a half gives me minus 3 tenths A. Okay, let's have a look at one more question. Here's another one. Um, find in terms of A and B, O, M. So I'm starting at O, finishing at M. M is the midpoint of uh, of a b so again how, how do I get there well step number one if I work out how to get from a to b how to get from a to b that's going to be minus a plus b so there we go so to get from a to b I'm going to do minus a plus b and then think well actually I don't want to get from a to b I want to get from a to m well, a to m is just going to be half of that distance. So it's just going to be a half of minus a plus b. And that takes me from a to m. But actually, I didn't want to get from a to m. I wanted to get from o to m. So I'm going to start at o. And then I'm going to travel this distance plus that a m distance. So I'm going to get a plus a m, which is a half bracket minus a plus b. OK, so there we go. So o to m. I get a first plus a half of minus a plus b, which simplifies out to a half a plus a half b. Okay, next one, uh, find O L. Okay, now let's have a look. Um, it says L is the midpoint of O M. So L is the midpoint of O M. Well, I've already worked out that O M is a half a plus a half b. So if it's the midpoint of that, it's halfway along that vector. So I can just simply do a half of 
the vector OM. So if I know OM is a half A plus a half B, OL is a half of that, which is a quarter A plus a quarter B. Okay, and then the very last one, let's get from A to L. Okay, so I need to start at A, finish at L. Well, again, I can use what I've already done. Basically, if I go from A down to O, and then I can use the vector OL that I've just worked out, that will start at A and finish at L. So, basically, I already know that OL is a quarter A plus a quarter B, and therefore AL, I just need to do minus A plus a quarter A plus a quarter B, and then if I simplify that, I'm going to get minus three quarters A plus one quarter B. Okay, there we go.